Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in past video tutorial, we have learned about the basics of generic, how generics provide a type safety at compile time when we use a different kind of collection, right? So in this video tutorial, we'll move one step ahead and in here we are going to learn how we can define a generic class with single type parameter, right? So let's go ahead and uh, here you can see I have created a project with name generic class with single type parameter example. And here you can see I have created a client test. So uh, I have to write the some code in main method still that is pending. Now we have a employee class with uh, that's line in the model package, which holds three private fields and corresponding public setter getter method right so now here i'm going to create a generic class uh, and i'll keep the package name com.infotech.generic and class name i'm going to take as my uh, generic class and in, bra in angular bracket open and you will have to specify the type as a t and angular bracket close and this is the way to basically define a type parameter when you define a generic class right now here i am going to declare a variable uh, which is a type of t and name of variable you can give anything whatever you want i am going to specify as object sorry right now I am going to create a constructor. So constructor I am going to create as public so that <coughs> sorry guys we can create an object of this class outside of the class. Okay. Now we required a getter method of this variable so that we can access whatever we store in this variable we can access outside of the class. So that's what we have a getter method. And that's it. We have created a generic class. Now, how we can create an instance of this class? So, come to the uh, client program here. I'm going to create an object of this class. I would say my generic. And here, type T, you can specify any generic type, any, any data type like wrapper class object or a string or any class like a string buffer anything you can pass it over here even custom class also you can pass so i'm going to pass as a string first of all and local variable name you can say anything now new and this class is having a constructor there we'll have to pass or a string because generic says you have to pass a string so here a string i'm going to pass let's say soon now you got the reference of generic class now this generic class is having a method is called get object right this will return you uh, a string why a string because because this generic class holds the string right and this string value you can print easily over here right so let's see how it works now first of all we have stored a string here you can store integer, double, long, any object, even a string buffer, a string builder, any object you can store over here. Right? Now, this is all, the string is already existing class in Java, right? Let's uh, say how uh, this generic class works for the custom data type. So, we have already defined an employee class which holds private fields, public set getter method, and two string methods over, reader over there. Now, I'm going to store this custom class, right? Let's say employ. So that also you can store. Okay. And here we can, uh, first of all, we have to create this object of this class. So let's say employ, employ equals to new employ, right? ID, let's say let's uh, assign some random id now let's say name let's 
let's say Joya and let's salary seventy thousand and this object I'm going to pass it over here. Okay, now we have a, a reference of my generic class which holds a uh, employee object and here we will have to call the get object method. This is when I return you the employee object, right? And this object easily we can print. Okay, let's run this program and see how output is, the output is coming. So here you can see in first case we got the output as a shown and second case we got the state of this object right that's getting printed on the console so i hope you understood how we can define a, a generic class so guys here simply i have initialized this class initialized with the single object but here you can have a array of object as well right so it's a pretty straightforward example right and how we can use this generic class in client project that also we have learned with uh, uh, any existing class uh, which belongs to the JDK or if you want to store some kind of custom object in this generic class that is also possible and uh, this also of course uh, provides all your type safety suppose someone wants to initialize some integer value over here then this is going to protect you at compile time itself right so this also provides you the type safety right here also this will not take any object other than employee right so this also provides you the type safety so generics always provides you type safety at compile time itself only right so runtime you don't need to type cast into the specific object right and that's basically reduces the bug as well as a number of lines of code in your project as well so guys that's all learning we have in this video tutorial in next video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a generic class with more than one type parameter so there is possible a, a class or a interface can be created uh, with uh, more than one uh, type parameter as well. So that we will learn in the next video tutorial. So that's all I have in this video tutorial. So guys, this code is pretty straightforward. Still, I'm going to check in on the GitHub and GitHub location you may get, get from the video description itself. So guys, big thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, then please hit on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. See you next video tutorial.